Yo guys, what's up? It's great to see you guys again after we had our mini little Christmas break and I hope you guys had an awesome holiday and awesome New Year's. And today we're going to start off with going talking about Anthrax versus Exodus in uh, our, this album wars episode. So yeah, check it out dudes. <laughs> Sometimes I judge when I'm not fair Sometimes I'm mean and I don't care When I'm talking I am screaming at you Ooh. We like to love all our dudes So we really hate to choose But we have to make up our minds Here's a host She always does the show Can something, maybe something else Sometimes she's right as rain Sometimes she's off the mark When she said Britney Fox Was worse than Hanoi Rocks All that glitters isn't glam But glam is ultimate Metal is beautiful So we just hold it first band we're going to talk about is Anthrax and they came out with their album Among the Living in 1987 and I just want to say that overall this is a very heavy album which I really dig and I also like how they included really like uh like influences of like hip-hop in there and it's really cool and like they did it smartly like they just didn't just throw it in there because this is still metal you know and it's like you can't just like throw it in there and uh i want to talk about caught in the mosh it's a song i really enjoy a lot and i really really liked how they did the gang vocals all together that was really cool and the guitar is really awesome in that song and i just thought that scott ian Dan Spitz did an awesome job on the guitar in that one. And I really also enjoyed the bass and the drumming. Very, very cool. And uh, overall, the composition was just very great in that song. Frank Bello did a really awesome job with that bass. And I like how heavy he was with the bass throughout the whole album, actually. Really, really awesome. And... How it was included in the breakdown in this song, very, very awesome. Charlie Benante kicked ass on Indians when he did more of that native influential sound because, you know, it's called Indians. And also the way Dan Spitz and Scott Ian came in with the guitar in there, they just made it sound very native, very primal. Yeah. It was really cool. I really liked that effect that they did. It really gave it more personality and stuff. And that was really cool. Now we're going to move on and talk about Exodus. So, now we're going to talk about Exodus and their album, Pleasures of the Flesh, which also came out the same year, 1987. The first thing we're going to talk about is Derange, which the album starts out with... We're going to talk about Exodus, Pleasures of the Flesh, which came out in 1987 also. The first song, Derange, I really like how it starts off the album with the speaking part because it really elevates the fact that, you know, it's like deranged, you know, crazy, and it's like there's different voices going on and shit. And I thought that was really a neat thing for them to do. To start out the song that way and to introduce the album, the song, the band, you know? Very cool. Really adds personality. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Brain Dead, I thought the echoes were really cool. And I really digged how the guitar was just, it was present and it was there and it was really heavy. 
very heavy throughout the whole album actually so I really really appreciate that. Gary Holt and Rick Hunt did a really awesome job with the guitars I just want to mention that because it was you know like I said very heavy and it was very awesome and now we're going to move on to uh, Pleasures of Ball Off Holt Fat Flush I don't know how to pronounce that I hope I got it right <laughs> Yeah, that song was a party, and uh, I really like that jungle sound, the cheat, the, 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 you know, the, those monkeys sounded like Cheetah from the Tarzan show, and I really like that, because they're, that's like, he's like my favorite character on that show, he's so cute, and he's like, ah, 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 and it's cute. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was cool, I like hearing, I like hearing those songs and sounds, you know, you know, that's why I like, uh. Aerosmith's a permanent vacation. They got a lot of cool jungle sounds in there. That's a party. <laughs> and uh, Seeds of Hate, those vocals. <laughs> Steve Souza did really, his vocals are very, very good. And I really like the explosion effect in the song at the end, which is like, it's really cool, dude. And you really get the title with that, you know, like explosion, seeds of hate, all love. Yeah. <laughs> and um, overall, this band had a lot of character. And that was really cool. Like, they have a lot of personality. And, you know, that's why I like the heavy metal genre so much. It's cool. <laughs> like no one's afraid to have a personality I really dig that like they both got Anthrax and Exodus they both have personalities and really love that so much you know not afraid to have a personality and be interesting and tired of people being serious and talking about things they shouldn't talk about because they're banned so yeah like school <laughs> So yeah, that's um, about it. We forgot to do a poll. We need to start remembering to do that. So <laughs> next episode, we'll definitely remember to do a poll. But uh, just still let us know what you think uh, if at Anthrax or Exodus, which one you like better, which album you like better. And don't forget to comment below and shit and tell us what you think and shit. And uh... Before, uh, oh yeah, and uh, I know down at the studio we chose Anthrax. And before we go, I just want to mention uh, this, my friend here, Roman the Gypsy. Yes, make sure to follow his Instagram page and also check out his band Crystal Shades. And uh, yeah, and make sure to buy some of his shirts and shit. Very, very cool shirts. So yeah, hope to see you guys next time and... Just keep rocking and stay metal forever and always. Yeah. That's a wet then. Yeah, boy.